Power Mods bunker update. Everybody's been wondering what's going on with the uh, Mega Elan, the Monster Elan, the 925cc Elan. This is what's holding it back right there. We just got it in. That's sealed for the water pump. That took a long time to get here, but now we got it. So we can start putting that motor back together. A lot of times you guys are always wondering, oops, a lot of times you guys are always wondering, oh, it's taking so long. Well, freaking parts like that, one part in the middle of that sled holding everything back. And other things, of course. Um, what, is, what is going on here? The wrap's coming off the rev, gonna tidy that all up again, redo everything, make it look really good. I might go kind of stealthy-like looking. Uh, maybe just a power mod sticker on there. Yeah. The IQR uh, 860 is looking pretty trick. We've shortened up the tunnel. Uh, cleaning up the hood. Yeah, yeah, everybody's freaking out. Aiden, Aiden Hayden's hood, blah, blah. I can't afford to buy a new one, boys. It's a thousand dollars by the time I get a new hood for that, and I'm not made of money. So, Ian Hayden gets to have his hood on Power Mods 860 IQR, which is going to be great. Um, we made some modifications. Just uh, quickly plumbed up a rear cooler, but I just found out that I have a Van Amberg cooler coming, and so I drilled a whole bunch of holes in there for no reason. So that's all coming off, and it's going back under. But this is our this is our shortening job. It actually looks a little too long. One lad was saying that. It does look a little long, eh, Simon? It does, yeah. Well, it's pretty... I don't know. It's all right. You know, I don't know, it is what it is. We'll give it a try and then we'll see how it works. And if we don't like the looks of it later on, you're out of here. I do have nitrous for it with a 30 horsepower shot. Straight line performance nitrous. Um, so we're just getting, it's off a different kit. So it's off an XF1200. XF Skidoo, what is it? XR200, XR200. Yeah. Uh, so it's off that, so we just need to make some little changes on here or to the kit so we can slap it on. So 860 big bore plus nitrous should be pretty good. But I got to tell you, one of the big issues we're having right now is snow. Everybody wants videos of us ripping the, you know, the, the rev can go. This thing here could be ready in a little bit just to rock and roll. There's no snow, guys. There's, what, two inches? Like really, it's just dust. And most, most of the fields are just full of uh, grass. There's really nowhere to go. So we're going to have to head out west. That is in the works right now. Um, I'm still waiting for parts for my RMK. I'm waiting for a hose. It's the bypass hose that goes underneath the motor from the water pump to the head. I'm still waiting for that stupid hose to come in. And that has been a long time. So hopefully it's in this week. What else? The Elka suspension shocks on the front, we blew them out. Uh, so they're looking after that for us. So we just put the Walker Evans on that came off of here. We shortened up the rails on that, of course. We have the rails off the... Um, uh, these are the carbon fiber rails that were on that. All right. Let me see. Do that with your aluminum rails. Can't do it. Can't do that with aluminum. You could probably use those as a raft for an ATV. Yeah, you could. These are incredibly strong. A lot of guys say that, oh, they're just, you know, when they break, they're just going to snap. Well, yeah, they're not going to bend, but aluminum bends way quicker than, than this will ever snap. Like these things are ridiculously strong. They've got another reinforcement here. And these are as old design. They even have new ones now that are more beefy and more uh, stronger than these. But incredible. Incredible. You can't do that with aluminum. It'd just go boom right to the floor, right, Simon? What else? Nothing going on out there. Um, 
I've got another RMK axis suspension. That's for another thing. Talk about that later. Got all the seals and everything I needed for for the uh, Articat 600. So that's probably we're going to get on that today. I've got the Peak 163 track there. Barely any miles on it. Anybody, anybody wants one, let me know. i got a brand new box to ship it out in. We'll work it out. Um, yeah, so the Aircat 925. Right now, well, we're going to do a couple things for our next bit of videos. You guys love this kind of stuff anyway. Um, I've got these Cobra pull cords. I'm going to rebuild the land starter, a land rewind. That broke, of course. Um, and I'm going to put the, you guys got to see these here. Where are they? I've got so many boxes of parts, as they say, parts, parts in Ontario. Right here, these guys. Gimmick? Gimmick? Are they a gimmick? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But they, they kind of make sense to me. You know me, I'm always trying new things, right? I don't think they're gimmicks. I think they make a lot of sense. NTN black ice snowmobile bearings. Check these out. I go through a lot of bearings. Like I go through a lot. And uh, a lot of them are rusted. Now this new coating on here is supposed to keep that from rusting. You know, that keeps the sealing surfaces all nice and tight. Uh, of course, uh, they only make these in two or three models right now. Uh, your most common bearings. So these NTN black ice bearings are going in my Polaris suspension. Yes, they do cost more. Uh, some guys say, well, you know, I can just buy the jobber ones and, uh, you know, the jobber ones don't have enough grease in them. Well, I take them, the seals apart and I put the grease in. Yeah, you can do that. I don't have time to do that because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Do we have 12 slides? I think we've got at least 12 slides. Don't have time for that. The bearings go in, and then when they're done, the bearings go out, and new bearings go back in. So if you're any, anything like me, uh, this here might just be the ticket. So we're gonna install those, and I might do a test too. I'm gonna slap one of these into the water with a half a bucket of salt and put one of those in beside it and see if it lasts any longer. I suspect it will. Only makes sense. It's got a coating on it, right? Well, where are the old ones? <laughs> Remember where they are, Simon? Oh yeah, so that's an old one. It doesn't even turn now. This is one of the ones that came off it. And it's toast, it doesn't even want to turn. You know, so, so that that's let's it's got 500 miles on it. So we'll find out just how well those work uh, when we get it apart, and then in another year or two, we'll take it apart and take a look at them. These are the new drivers from Avid Products that I put on for my RMK. I went to a one tooth larger. So I get a little bit higher, a little bit more top end with it. Um, I like his uh, drive uh, cogs or his drivers as well. So I press those on. Yeah, the Indy Light. People have been asking about the Indy Light. We are gonna get it down soon. So we're gonna finish up. I mean, that's almost ready to go. Um, once that's done, we wheel that over there. I'm gonna pull the carbs out of the rev, I'll go over that. It's just about time, you know. Hot and cold in here, this, this was a bad summer in here. Oh my God, it was humid. It's bad all the time in here. It's freezing cold, that heater barely does anything. We're looking for a new place, uh, but it has to be the right place. I kind of like it here, because of where we are, but at the same time, we can't really work in here very often. Um, you guys want videos all the time, but we have to run that heater for about two hours before we even walk into this place. It's minus 20, it's minus 27 out this morning, and that's really cold. So to come in here and just whip up some videos, 
even the cameras don't even run, want to work. That camera, actually both cameras, I left them in here in the summer and I turned them on and they fogged up. Took me about a month to get the uh, water out of them. So it's just not that easy all the time to hammer a video out. But uh, geez, I don't know what else, Simon. What else, we got other things here. I don't know, we have a whole bunch of other things we're doing. We are, believe it or not, uh, starting to set up our ATV portion of our website, tires and rims and winches and everything ATV related, windshields and luggage things and two-up seats and what, I don't know, all that stuff. So we're adding all that to our website now as well. Um, the snowmobile stuff has been good. Thanks very much for your support, as usual. So about a week from now, we're supposed to get another 15 mil of rain, uh, which will pretty much polish off all the snow and everything we have here again. So hopefully some colder weather will come back through. It's been, so okay, this is the way it's been going. It's been too cold to snow, and then it's been too hot and rain. It's been kind of weird. It's like, I'm not gonna say what it's like, but I think some of us know what kind of people that's like. Um, so it hasn't been that fun. So we're held back, but still giving us time to do work on our sleds, right? But we're always planning things. So stay tuned, there's more to come. We will fire this up here in a little while and get things rolling, all right? Um, we are gonna have a giveaway soon. I've got some MotorFist um, clutch insulated uh, snowmobile gear, like jacket and pants. We're gonna do a giveaway. I'll explain how to do that. You just gotta sign up to my newsletter. Everybody who signed up to my newsletter, if you go on my website, www.powermods.com, you go on there, join the newsletter, and uh, just say, Louie, I just wanna hear from you for these uh, promotions and giveaways, and then you're in. And then I'll just announce a winner. It's very easy. It's very easy to do. You get some free stuff, potentially. It sounds good, right? Free stuff's always good. Thanks for watching, guys. It's all good. Okay, let's get something done here. Boop, boop. Where'd I put my drink?